All right, welcome back. It's uh it's a special episode today, guys. It's uh it's me and William's one year anniversary. Yeah, that sounds gay. It's uh it's Will- William was my first episode. You don't forget your first. So William, welcome back. Thanks for having me back, man. It's, I'm glad to be back. It's part of the contract. I'm just joking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How was your day today, my dude? It's all good, man. Been busy. Um, obviously, you know, I got the school thing going on. Fuck school, man. Yeah. I should just drop out. But besides you that, it's good. Yeah. You should drop out. Are you almost done? Because I'm. Uh, it's all I hear about school, school, school. Yeah. Exams. Yeah. Should be yes, almost done soon. Um, you know, if I, I if I can drop out, I would. If you pay me, you know, <laughs> I wouldn't be I wouldn't be in this situation. But, but you know. But like, how long are you? Are you like eighty percent done? Fifty percent done? Uh, I would say a good fifty percent because I did end up switching programs. But okay, you know, we are we're still we're still at it. Fifty percent's good, man. Yeah. That's good shit. I remember my day. Well, well, I didn't do university. I just did fucking college and shit. And I, yeah. and I was in college like for forever. My two year program became like a fucking four and a half year program because I was working and shit. Or maybe I was just a dumb asshole. This I don't know. <laughs> no. I don't know. Yeah. Listen, whoever's listening, no school's good. Just don't listen to what the fuck I'm saying. School's good. <laughs> School is good. Yeah. And be- before we get into our, our talk, I want to say uh, I did something big today, Bill. I did something really huge. I saved three lives today. Oh, did you? Using your blue belt jujitsu or? No, 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 my, no jujitsu needed today. I I (laughs) saved three innocent baby squirrels. Wow. It was probably, it was probably my fault. Actually, it was my fault because this is what happened. Well, I was fucking trying to fix a wall in my patio and I, I was hearing these bird noises and shit. And I'm like, yeah. the fuck? Why is there a bird and shit? So I just like, I'm, I'm opening up my, my wall and pops out. Not one, not two, but three fucking baby squirrels. I'm like, holy shit. Like the nest came apart. They're all vulnerable and shit. I'm like, I can't just leave them, but they're going to die. Yeah. Fucking, I pull like a, this crazy MacGyver mission. I just put on a glove for rabies and shit. So I don't get bitten. But I picked them. They're like fucking apples, though. You just pick them up. Yeah, I put them in a shoebox and I fucking put them uh, in the corner of my backyard with uh, hopefully the, the mother found two of them, but there's still one left. So I'll go check on it later after this podcast, see if it's still okay. alive. Or yeah, get it, get it a fucking a cup of nuts, uh, Cheerios and fucking carrots. But carrots, I think is a bad idea because they're going to rot. So fuck, oh, man, yeah. dumbass. Should be OK. Day. Squirrels, uh, surely they'll, they'll eat them fast. But so. Seems to me like you single handedly almost destroyed a, f- a family of squirrels' nest, but also saved their lives. So, honestly, good on you, so, man. So, good on it's you. Win win. I, I fucked up, but I made it up. Exactly. Because that's, I, I that's what counts. <laughs> I think the rule is don't mess with nature. So, I, I wasn't supposed to touch them, but they're yeah. on my patio. They were going to die. Or my dog's going to sniff them, or I don't know, some shit. Yeah. Fuck. That's over with. <laughs> but, Will. Yes, yes, sir. A year has gone by. We have grown up. We have matured. We are no longer white belts. We are now shitty blue belts. How yeah. do you feel about that? <laughs> um, I mean, it was it, it was it was definitely part of our goal to get where we are. One of the goals. Yeah. And uh, I would say uh, we 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 did a good job of getting getting through what we wanted to achieve this this year, especially you, man. Uh, you, you, you did a whole lot this year and besides competition, I feel like you, uh, you, you grew your podcast. Thanks to, I'm joking. Not, Thanks to me. you. Get, <laughs> it, get it off your chest. You no, son of a bitch. No, no. Sit. Will no. made me start the podcast and all this shit. So yeah, sure. Uh, Good job, Will. It's all, it's all you, man. I'm humble. It's not, I, 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 I didn't. <laughs> I didn't contribute at all. <laughs> it's maybe it's the work. idea, but yeah. besides you did, that, you, you just did showed most of me the, work. the do- you showed me the door, Will. Yeah. Then then I pushed you aside, like fuck you, I opened the door myself. <laughs> yeah, Let's but hey, that. you pushed me aside, but somehow I ended up coming back. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, man. <laughs> yeah. It was funny though, like uh we were talking about in the beginning, like, oh I can't take my blue belt and purple belt and all this shit. 
uh, as soon as I got the belt, uh, maybe a month later, I realized yeah. I still suck, right? And I stopped caring altogether. Yeah. I don't even give a shit about a belt anymore. I don't. Uh, whatever the coach says, Marco, it's your exam. I'll probably freak out, and then uh, I'll deal with that. But I really don't care about anything right now. All I care about it's it's crazy. When you started competing, and again, you you got me starting competing as well. You son of a bitch. So you, when you started competing, I am addicted to competing. I don't know about you now, but when I I feel like jujitsu is not the same if you don't compete anymore. Do, yeah. you, do you do you still feel that, or are you like, oh, I'll just fucking go to the gym and stuff, or do you do you still want to compete? I I feel a hundred percent. I do want to compete, and also I I completely agree that uh, competition um, gives you a better. Uh, like I guess my opinion would be that uh, it gives you a better understanding of like how to um, like progress yeah. because like, yeah, okay, yes, you can um, apply the techniques and, and do it all in training, but it's not the same environment. It's, no. it's a completely different level. It makes you get out and, and try things, you know, so, sometimes like in the heat of the moment, you end up trying things in competition. I'm sure you can, probably attest to this but uh you you you, you kind of expand on your skill set and you learn every time because it's yeah. not the same people that you train with every day Mm-mm. every competition is different so it gives you some some new tool to develop every competition so it's very i, I think it's one of the most uh useful things to to um progress like i don't think that like i don't think you should be forced to competition you know, like I think everyone should give it a shot because you 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 won't know until you try. Yeah, yeah, it's that's for sure. Uh, I would say I would not disagree, but I would say everyone you have to fucking do one competition. <laughs> Don't take my advice, but like you have to do at least one. Just do one. It should be a requirement for every jujitsu academy. You got to do one competition or else you're out. No, just joking. But the thing is, when you're at school rolling with people your flow rolling you can go like 50 percent 70 percent whatever uh and i always hold back a bit because it's i'm there to learn and i don't want to go, go crazy on anyone and be that that crazy guy kind of spazious you know yeah but when i'm at competition it's like fuck yeah i don't know you you don't know me you want to hurt me i won't hurt you too and fuck let's go and we start from yeah. standing so i like that i love that shit i don't like pulling guard but even though i'm always pulling guard it's weird but it's different, man. I just, it's a different feeling altogether. I, yeah. Do you I find it, uh, you find it gets you out of, uh, your normal, um, like game plan sometimes. And like, like, how do you no. feel when like, I'm in competition now, yeah. I'm super concentrated. Yeah. I find, and when I'm at, uh, we're at, uh, whatever, we're, when we're doing our cor- or courses, about say, we're fucking at the gym. I'm, Whenever I'm against, let's say, a higher belt, I'm yeah. more concentrated on them. So it, like that stress, it's a different type of stress. So when I'm a higher belt, I, I concentrate more, not make stupid mistakes. And when I'm a competition, it's the same thing for me. It's like I don't make stupid mistakes because I do a lot of stupid shit at the gym because I have to experiment and see if it works or not. So I don't mind losing a lot. But when it comes to competition, it's like, no, I'm, so f- I'm super focused. I'm doing what I know that works for my game. And it builds a different game altogether. So it's kind of cool. It's fucking yeah, paying off, I think. Slowly paying off. Yeah, I mean the the training room is where you should be losing the most. I mean, it makes sense. It's, it's yeah. just it's just like common sense. Uh, we're we're not there to kill each other, but we are there to improve. And like, what what better way to like, you know, develop your skills than than like you don't learn without losing. So no. yeah, and the thing is like. But buggy again about this. The next competition I'm doing is May, May, yeah, May 18th, and I want you to come. I'm gonna fucking tell you all the time. Fuck your school. Yeah, but you I should you... be done uh, this week, so I'm I'm gonna ah. start preparing for competition. <laughs> yes, Dude, this one's gonna be this will be stre- not stressful. It's gonna be different, unique. Well, I'm kind of worried on two on two things. Uh, number one, because I'm older, I've been noticing now it's harder to get competitors. So right now there's t- about 30 days out, and I'm the only one that signed up. So I hope someone fucking signs up. Second, it's a single elimination submission. So that's yeah. different altogether. So that's 
extra stressful. So if you fuck up once, you're out. You go home, basically. Yeah, but you've done that. I, I, I haven't. I think my first competition was double. Submission I'm, rights? I, yeah. I don't remember now. It or maybe I, just, I, I forgot and I just like fucking didn't realize it. Yeah. It could be. But also, uh, I know I know, I know, know people from our gym that uh, what they do is they uh, sign up for the master's division and then mm-hmm. they sign up for the adult division, like the regular adult division. So but what? What's the difference though of, of like adult and uh, like I masters? Think, I think there's like a, I don't know if there's an age cap, uh, cap, but I think it's okay. just like sixteen and above, okay, or 18, eighteen and above, and then there's uh, masters, so you compete with people you're like in in the masters age group, but I'm pretty sure you can still uh still register for the regular adult division. I know oh. we we know a couple of guys at the gym that have uh, done that. Because I think worst case, when it comes closer to the date, they'll they'll just pair me up with whoever I guess. But it, what not bugs me, but like, like I noticed, let's say this competition, let's say with uh, SAU and ASG. So ASG, when I went to that competition, the yeah. bracket was masters, but was thirty five and plus. Uh, SAU is masters thirty and plus, and the next master two is forty. So there's like ten years in difference. So I can face a thirty one year old, thirty two year old, thirty. Well, I'm not. Too too worried. Just that it's like fuck, man. Ten years is it's quite a bit sometimes. You know, I'm reaching thirty eight soon, man. I know I look gorgeous <laughs> for my age and shit. I look twenty one, but fuck, man. Man, you always uh, you always downplay yourself. Like you're not I old, know. man. <laughs> it's, it's a mentality. It's a trick. I'm trying to like <laughs> yeah, exactly keep up with the young kids. Yeah, the young bastards. But I feel like that uh, basically allows you to. I mean. Hopefully, there, there should with with an extra five years, right? Of uh, like uh, age, there should be more people. Hopefully, yeah. So that gives you more opportunity to you know be in a bigger bracket yeah. instead of just like facing off against three, four people. Yeah, I want to even be spontaneous. Let's say if I get only two or three people that register, I was yeah. actually gonna do like gi at the end as well and Whoa. fucking do do both just fucking wing it don't yeah. give a shit just yeah. whatever yeah it might not go as planned but yeah whatever i'll see <laughs> I'll see how i feel I just just me saying it out loud i'm like holy shit that feels that sounds bad but i want to do it that sounds weird coming out of your mouth <laughs> it does you, you created a monster will <laughs> imagine wanting the competing ge- i'm joking guys <laughs> But I've, I've done – no, I haven't done 20 classes. I think I've done a dozen gi classes in about three years. A dozen. Yeah. So that will be crazy. That's, if I, that's more than me. That's more than me. Man. This is why man. I suck probably. This is probably why I still suck is because everyone's like, oh, you should do uh, you should do gi and improve your jiu-jitsu. Yeah. I mean I understand. That's probably true. I, I I don't know. <laughs> I, just... I don't know either. I like when I've done gi a couple of times. Uh, I felt like oh shit, my my no gi strategy is working on the gi, but I got surprised many times. Yeah, many many times because oh, there's all fucking wizard shit they can do and stuff. But yeah, I don't know. Fuck, I don't know. It's too much for me. The gi, it's too much. <laughs> so well, you're almost finished school. You're thinking about May 18th. Yes, sir. Yeah, May 18th is. Uh... Is is it's there? I I want to do it. I want to do that one and probably the one I believe it's in June. There's another one in June as well. It's gonna okay. be in Montreal. I oh, it could be. Yeah. yeah. Wait. I think I saw it. Is, is do you know if the May one is in Montreal or Ottawa? I think it's June twenty fourth. I think it is. Uh, I think it is Montreal first. Okay. If I'm mistaken. Okay. Then so. there's an, there's some other ones in Ottawa as well, but I'm gonna try and do as many as I can. Yeah addicted now i want them all i want them all well so yeah. addicting <laughs> it's it gives me uh you know it does like people say it, you know what it gives me that extra sharpness in the gym now a little bit more of uh not sharpness but more of a uh, aggression i would say i'm more i'll slightly more aggressive now i'll go for a submission if i could whereas before i was more laid back yeah I, I, it's probably with competition i guess it's in me still to like you know go go, go get them yeah yeah it's a different pace you have that uh you're starting to use the competition pace in 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 training um yeah i'm starting to feel 
well, I still think I suck, but I try to feel at certain points now. I'm going to use Aaron as an example. Aaron, if you're listening, I'm sorry, but I don't give a fuck. I'll use an example. So Aaron who are, is a guy that uh, he stopped training for a couple of months, maybe six months, five, six months, maybe a year. I don't know. But Aaron came back. Uh, it was really good to see him back. He came back to train. He, his son's in jiu-jitsu as well. So he's back. Yeah. Uh, so, But missing a year or close to a year, uh, shit, is not good for you. <laughs> so when I was when I used to roll with him as a white belt, I would have hard times. He would fucking catch him in kimuras and all kinds of shit. He used to win a lot against me but now it's like fucking pure domination against him. i don't even sweat with him and i have to explain everything to him he's always asking marco how you do this move yeah it's like, well i don't need like this and it feels so rewarding because now it's fucking paying off it makes sense and well also with certain people too it's like okay i'm like it's just it's programmed now okay i have to step this way and put my what my my body weight this way so it's it's paying off just yeah it's like three years to see some progress i guess i don't know yeah but Hey man, hard work pays off at a, at a certain point, and uh, it's it's the long game. Jiu Jitsu is the long game. It takes it a very is. long time. But there has to be things that still piss you off, even though as a blue belt, will what is what it pisses pisses you off in Jiu Jitsu? Still, there has to be something. You know what mine is, so you, you're talking about like. Just the sport or everything? Oh, okay. Well, yeah, everything else, yeah. As a whole, you can say as a whole of jujitsu. Uh, For me, it's always the fingernails and uh, yeah. Yeah, that that's I. I still happen to be a victim of uh, getting scratched and stuff. I'd say that. I, I've that uh, too. I've got yeah. some eye pokes now. Eye pokes are the new thing now. Like everyone's eye poking me. How? I, <laughs> I don't know. We're even drilling. It's like everyone's eye poking me. And it's like fucking shit, man. But like right under the eyelid. So it's I'm safe. Yeah. But it's like you fucking see white. That and I'm getting a lot of uh, shin to shin combat. I don't know. Why, why is everyone kicking my shins? Mm-hmm. So my shins have been burning since last week. I'm, I'm slightly better now. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> fucking jujitsu. So such a stupid sport. <laughs> It's so there's so many um, like not only <laughs> could you get hurt from I don't know someone's submission, but like if people don't uh, cut their fingernails or poke you in the eye, like there's there's a I, lot of stuff. I got hurt last week because I felt I took Bruno's back, and as I took his back, my knees were like burning up. I'm like what the hell happened? Probably because we were we were practicing like ankle pinking. So we, when you snatch or you go to the bottom, yeah, you're yeah. you're hitting your knees, right? So yeah. after a while, you know, always doing that move over and over again, like your knees tend to burn. So at the end of the class, we did I did an extra roll with them. Yeah, and I took his back. I'm like, oh, I'm like Bruno, I gotta fucking stop. It's like what's wrong? Think like, you have my back? My knees, they feel weird, yeah. and I I couldn't get up properly. And I just had to like do like a, a whole minute to wait to see if I'm okay. But uh, yeah, I felt weird for a couple of days, my knees. But now I'm good. Yeah, Jiu Jitsu. It's because you you're new to takedowns, man. <laughs> I knew to take down. Can... <laughs> yeah. yeah, slightly new. Slightly new. <laughs> you're starting to use takedowns now. Well, you're more of a upper body. Upper body wrist. pushing the person. Yeah, a hand fighting kind of guy. Yeah, that's what I like hand fighting. Yeah. But that's the thing. Like, I did hand fighting my last competition. I was standing mostly until I took the position. I, I got the person down. But when you hand fight a lot, I just learned this. Your fucking forearms go into like super shock. Like they were, I feel like there were heartbeats on my forearm. And I told like our coach Carl at the end, like Carl, I can't move my arms. Like they're gonna, like they feel so numb. It's gonna rip apart. I felt like I was, I was actually gonna tear a muscle for how tight they were yeah so that's something new to think about now yeah i, I think the you can supplement before competition there I, I i believe there's a supplement that you can take that reduces the chance of like uh muscle cramps tightness like Jones that now i've heard them all i've i don't remember but i can i can I can there's so know. many things there's so yeah. i've been i probably didn't drink like my new thing now is coconut water I think I have to drink a lot of coconut water because I love that shit. And when I use yeah. it for class, I feel amazing. I take that over like Gatorade or whatever now. Coconut water is the shit. Yeah. I take to that stuff. I think you just need more uh, sodium. You need more sodium because uh, coconut water doesn't have enough sodium for you to hydrate. Probably have to drink a gallon of it or some shit. 
<laughs> I've, see, I'm still figuring out little things here and there. I still have to tweak while going to like a competition because I think I know. Like now, I brought more of a meal last time, so yeah. I brought like a sandwich and shit, and like I was more full. Yeah. But this one's like, fuck, my arms are dead. So tired. You, did you start wearing a a hoodie between round uh, competitions? I mean, matches. Uh, that no, I didn't do it because there wasn't enough time. Okay. And I think I just like fuck it. I just like drank all my water, and I'm like, I was okay, I was ready to go, kind of thing. Yeah. So I didn't put my hoodie, but I wasn't. I didn't feel that cold sweat that I felt yeah. last time. But yeah, I think that was what, also like a, a stress. <laughs> that's what I was thinking because if you're if you're between matches and uh, there's a big gap between your matches, let's say, yeah, then if you if you don't hoodie up, you you get those cold sweats, and you basically get an adrenaline dump. Okay, and you are, you're gonna have to get yourself back up there and like sweat 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 it out again to get your adrenaline or your your heart your yeah your heartbeat a okay little i think it was more. less than 10 less than 10 minutes yeah then, like, was, that's fine it was nothing it was like super fast yeah fuck it jiu-jitsu yeah so well what are you enjoying now about jiu-jitsu now you're a blue belt is there anything you're really proud of besides getting the belt <laughs> um Besides getting the belt, what I are you working like... on? What's your game plan, or what's what's what have you been noticing that you're improving on? So, like, ever since I became a blue belt, I think, um, I mean, I mean, it, it shows it shows the 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 progress has has paid off because, like, you know how they say a uh, blue belt should be able to beat an untrained person. Yeah. So like it, it pays off when like someone new comes in or like someone like like lower level than you I guess you would say, mm-hmm. and it feels like the techniques that we're being taught and like what we're learning works, so it's good. But it's, for me as a blue belt, it's a little in general actually, it, it's frustrating. Uh, it's like an internal thing where like um, you either don't know what to work on next. Or you just feel like you're stuck in a place. Mm. So that's not like over, I would say the last month I had a conversation with Carl and I'm like, listen, I, I feel like I plateaued a little bit. I feel like I didn't, I'm not progressing as much as I should. And so he's like, but what, like, what are you focusing on? I'm like, I feel like I'm trying to focus on everything, trying to fix mm-hmm. everything. So then he's like, well, there's your problem. <laughs> it's It's that's super sick. obvious, but it's like, if, if you're like trying to do things at the same time, you're going to like, you're going to progress like this. But if you focus on getting good at one thing at a time, you get good here, you get all the way up here. And then the next one just, it progresses faster than if you try to do everything at the same time. Yeah, it's true. So, okay. yeah. So I've been trying to, you know, work on, I think right now my focus is on like just passing mm-hmm. and takedowns. Because that's my game. I love takedowns. Oh, for yeah. sure, man. Yeah. That's I, I think I reached that plateau too. It's like I was trying to be good at everything. Yeah. So I was a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And then you know, you'd wing it on one area. Then like, so I feel confident now in guard passing. I feel I have two to three guard pa- uh, guard passes that I can do that will work. Yeah. Uh, I always use my first one that I know is pretty pretty good. I know how to use it. Then I have a, and I have second that's a little more riskier and the third one's like super risky so if i'm like so at least i can work on that then i worked on stuff and like okay when i passed the guard then i went to the next level okay i passed this guard or side control where i position myself now where am i putting the weight and i just focus on stupid things like that okay weight position uh where am i put my left hand my art my right arm so i'm just doing stupid things like that and even with like the takedowns i haven't reached takedowns yet i'm just still focusing on the hand fighting and what to do and uh, we learned something cool last week with ankle picking. Like, yeah, I fucked up my knees, but that's because of like repetition. But like, it was really cool because the way I was hand fighting mimics that move. And I'm like, holy shit! Next time I do this, I can just do an ankle pick easily. I'm like, fuck! There you go. There's there's one of my takedowns. So it's like it's slowly building up from like yeah. guard passing to when I reach side or full mount. What am I do next? And then or whatever. If I'm start I'm starting from the beginning, from just from a standing position, like what could I do now? Kind of thing. Yeah. Baby steps, man. Baby, Baby steps. steps. I it is. 
we all do this shit. We want to fucking watch YouTube and Instagram reels and shit, and we want to fucking oh this 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 move looks cool. Let me save it. Then you want to fucking do that move, and you just you just fucking forget everything that you're good at <laughs> yeah. because you want to do a flying triangle or some shit, and it fucks up your whole game. It does. It Indeed does. It does. Yeah. We we overcomplicate mm-hmm. a lot. Like I guess as as people as as whatever. As human beings, we, we overcomplicate everything and we, we, we tend to stray away from what we know and what we're good at and, yeah, causes well, issues, like, but... It does, man. It's like that... Uh, what was her name? Uh, Fionn? Uh, Fionn? Fionn yeah, yeah, Fionn. Fionn Davis. Like, her opponent... Remember this? Her opponent, or one of her last matches or two matches ago, she said to Fionn, what are you going to do? Give me a basic knee cut and beat me? Like I'm, I'm ready for you, and she fucking did that, and she and beat her, fucking beat her ass. Like the simplest things work. It's we gotta use these simple. We can't be always fucking you know wowed by the the newest fucking niche that probably even won't even work. Yeah. On real stuff, so uh, I'm trying not to watch Instagram anymore. Anytime I see these stupid like, oh, put your leg here and this and this and crump your arm, it's, it's gonna, and the person ta- he's not gonna tap. Like the the person ain't fighting back. <laughs> This is bullshit. Yeah, there's definitely so um, a lot of misinformation out there. I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong. There's there are some tricks though. There, there's there's plenty of good material out there from like people on Instagram, but there's a lot of bullshit too. For sure, man. So and any white belt, dojos. yeah, any white belt that sees that shit, they'll be so over overwhelmed. With so many fucking randomness, they're like, oh, you know, let me try this move tonight. I remember, like, I don't know who it was. I don't, I don't name his name. He's a young student, a young boy. He already know what I'm talking about. And I think it was he was very new at the time. And he said, oh, can I try a buggy choke on you? See if it works. I'm like, no. Like, no. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> you saw it on YouTube. Fuck you. <laughs> learn how to neat, like, learn how to, you know, shield <laughs> before you want a buggy cut. You're not a fucking buggy choke me or whatever the fuck it's called buggy whatever it's a buggy put, cut it's a new move buggy cut buggy choke me like, get the fuck out of here yeah. god people wake up yeah i know you're talking about but oh i, I know you know i know you I, know i've said the same things but like it's like if you don't focus on the basics then how are you gonna do everything else I, like i feel like those fancy moves it's like you have to have like a a base of like how to like People do the buggy choke when they're trying to, you know, submit from submit submit someone from bottom side control. Yeah. If you don't know how to escape bottom side control, what's the point of trying to? Exactly. Point. God damn, Jiu Jitsu. Yeah. Ah, I hate this sport. No, I love it so much. I'm joking. That's the theme of tonight. God damn Jiu Jitsu. God damn Jiu Jitsu. <laughs> well, yeah. We're here a year later, and we're still doing the same shit, paying money to wrestle and sweat on each other on each other and in our mouths get scratches <laughs> get fucking potential staff or whatever yeah, knock on man. wood i haven't got staff in a while that's, that's because good. of uh that's because of a, let me see if i can point properly grip soap right there hey guys there dude, dude. actually that yep. soap's fucking amazing can't lie it's really really good it smells if, like the spa if you guys want to see i'm good friends with marco if you guys want to send me up one bar Oh yeah, sure. Give you a bar. I'll give, you, I'll give you one of my used bars. Okay. Get my essence. Yeah. Well, you can keep it. Same shit, anyways. You know, I sweat on you when we roll. That's, That's true. The it's the same thing. You're right. Yeah. Okay. So what are your what are your goals for jiu-jitsu this year? What are the goals? Man, uh, I keep saying I want to compete more, and I I never pull the pull the trigger, but because. I mean, I feel like it's regardless. It's it's, it's an excuse. I mean, I'm not gonna shy away from it. I, I keep blaming school, but I mean, it takes a lot of my life and and, it does. and also work. But uh, I'm not gonna make an excuse all the time for that. Then I'm just gonna I'm just gonna train, man, and uh, hopefully compete as much as I can this year, along with you. You know, hey boy. I'll make. How about you make a goal right now? Say a number. How many you want to do this year? Just say it. Okay. At least two this year. Minimum. All right. I mean, that's that's realistic, and it's not me, like, good. Over, being... It's possible. Exactly. <laughs> Overly, uh, you know, 
enthusiastic and being like, oh, I'm going to do 20 and then you don't even do one. So yeah, yeah. I think two is fair for me. I think uh, I'm, I'm going to make it happen and uh, That's should good. be back on the grind, man. That's good, man. Yes, well, I'm going to see it with me too because I can't – you say 20. I can't afford to do 20 because I got shit to pay. But I am yeah. saying I'm going to do five. Five. Yeah. So I'm going to see with that. If I do less, I do less. So so far, I'm going for my second already. It's already registered. I'm registered. I paid it. So I'm already almost halfway. I want to try to do five. If not, if I do more, I do more. I'm going to even, you know, book. It doesn't have to be even here in Montreal. If I have to go somewhere else in Ottawa, I don't care. I'll just book a month or two before and just plan my shit. Yeah. That's all, man. Just fucking go. Wing it. Yes, sir. Yeah. There's no... I think we watch too many movies. We have to like prepare ourselves and train for like many months, like fucking Rocky and shit. And you, if you're always training, so it yeah. doesn't matter if you you've been trained for three years and you want to do a tournament this week or in, in one month. There's no more preparation you can do. You won't get that much better in 30 days or this week. Exactly. You know, so yeah. just fucking do it. Yeah, exactly. Just do it. Get it together, and uh, yeah, get the, the best. Birds. Get the early bird specials too. You save your 10, 15 bucks, something like that. I think we missed our early bird specials. I'm always huh? miss. Yeah, I'm always missing early bird specials. We'll you have to register them, but... at least like three months in advance so you really get a good deal. Yeah, something like that. Something like that, Will. Something like that. Uh, so, have you been uh, submitted lately? <laughs> Oh, was there one bad submission that you had or uh, lately? I think I told you. Yes. Oh, yes, you did. I could tell people. You could tell. I almost blacked out a couple of weeks ago myself. I I saw Jesus while uh, doing your <laughs> naked shows. Yeah, I almost. I had to. Uh, I don't know who did it to me. I just. I couldn't. Uh, I felt very lightheaded while drilling. Not even on a roll, just like drilling. And uh, yeah, I'm yeah. like, stop. <laughs> I was about to faint. We've been at it for oh, fuck. It's 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 been a while, right? Like mm -hmm. um, almost three years now. I'd say. I think it's about three years. That's it's about know, three COVID years. COVID and stuff. Yeah. About yeah. So about three years. So first time in three years that I I got put to sleep mm. during during a roll, and it was it, it wasn't intentional. I think honestly it was mostly it was probably mostly my fault because I got I got caught in an arm triangle. Mm -hmm. thinking that I had enough uh, space to get out. And I'm like, oh, I feel like I can breathe. <laughs> but little did I know, it was a it was a very well-sunken blood choke, triangle choke, arm triangle choke. Yeah. So next thing you know, I wake up and uh, just like two of our training partners, like <laughs> next to me, they're like, are you okay? I'm like, what? I'm like, I don't even know what happened. Yeah. They're like... Oh, you you passed on. I'm like, that's great. That's, <laughs> that's great, good to man. Know. That happens. Yeah. Well, I didn't have a full pass out, but I did have at least I know off the top of my head two really close calls where I'm like, okay, I have to tell the person to stop because yeah. I I couldn't see uh, like it was, everything was coming becoming white. Yeah, and then I got super lightheaded. I'm like, okay, I think it was both times were exactly rear naked choke uh, training. So back to back and sorry, back to back here. Like we know how to choke people, so if the same person, and if the other person is inexperienced and they're they're learning how to choke, they're gonna go a little bit harder. So after a while, so you're just like getting, it's like being choked yeah. out twenty times in six minutes. Like yeah, it's it's gonna get to you, get to your head. Yeah. But also, I I had an embarrassing moment too when I was when I first started. I uh, uh, Talia, uh, she I still remember this, and we haven't rolled since, and I have to get her back one day. Talia <laughs> did. This she wasn't flying, but she got this guillotine on me, and she just shot to the floor right away. I wasn't expecting that type of because Talia, people, this girl here, she's like, I feel like she competes. Like she, when you roll with her, she's like going to get you, kind of thing. So I wasn't yeah. expecting that from her, but she fucking dropped to the floor, got me guillotine, and I fucking tapped out. I'm like, what the fuck just happened? She beat me, man. She she's good, me. man. She's, she's good. good. And I never got That's her back, happens. Brett. I never got her back. So. Talia, if you hear this, he wants to get you back. Talia, it's been like over two years. Uh, we're going to have a rematch. And uh, yeah, that's it. See what happens, so, man. So so clip it now. We'll do a before and after. Before and uh, after. 
let's say before before so you call her out now and the next thing you know what if she chokes you out then i'm gonna bring her on the show i'm saying yeah <laughs> she can make fun of me the whole show yeah exactly so tell you i'm calling you out girl me and you we're gonna take it mano a girl <laughs> mano a girl yeah we got some pretty good uh females at our female competitors at our gym i must say especially i'm gonna give shots out to anna who's like uh, i think she's 13 now or 14 this is george's daughter she just did ac adcc in montreal and she got second this girl is ridiculous yeah and she helps also help uh to train my my son damiano so he loves like being with her around her she's like super like like she knows what she's saying at such a young age which is crazy you can, you can imagine we spoke about that actually uh you know how um the kids as soon as they hit 16 they'll be put to blue belt they can't go higher than that yeah exactly like if they've been training for a long time and they capped out on their kids belt they'll be a blue belt but just imagine that like that the amount of time they spent as a kid like the kids are just gonna be like monsters they're gonna be too good savages they're gonna be Monster. savages godlike it's it, I, I I put it's a lot crazy. of thought I put a lot of thought to this chill yeah. like let's say if my son let's say if he wants to continue jujitsu yeah. he's five he's five now going to be six he started let's say at five if he continues up until sixteen he's gonna have close to eleven years experience eleven years that's how long it takes a adult to at least take a, get their black belt so they'll already be like almost pre black belt with 11 years experience not only that something cool i just learned with the chill uh, with kids classes is yeah. kids have a lot of belts man they have a lot yeah. of belt colors i did not know that i thought it was like the same like i didn't know how how it worked. i knew there was colors i just know how many there were there's a lot of fucking belt colors so it's kids get stripes and promoted faster than let's say an adult so, because there's so many like there's gray, gray, black, gray, black, yellow, yellow, black, whatever, all kinds of different mixes and variations. So it takes a long time to get these belts, but there's like X amount of belts. Whereas us, yeah. we have what, uh, whatever it is, like the white, white, blue, whatever, purple, brown, purple, purple, bl- brown, five belts. Black. Yeah. Let's say five belts versus I don't know what they have, like fucking 12 belt type of belts. So it goes a lot faster for them. Yeah. But it's cool because it reassures them and it rewards them. And as a kid, I saw my son got his first stripe. I'm like, fuck, damn, you already got a stripe? I never got a stripe, damn it. Yeah. And uh, then I understood why. It's like it's 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 reward, it's more rewarding for the children. And there's like a, such a long progression to go with kids. So it's a lot pretty cool. Pretty, yeah, pretty cool. It is really cool. And they're just going to get really, really good. And if, if they stick with it, it's going to. It's going to be like really good for them, especially when they compete at, like uh, at the adult level. So. Yeah, it is, man. It's it's scary shit too. Well, it's scary shit. It's, it's when my son first started, my wife and I feared for him. <laughs> it's, it's like, but now he's starting to become a little bit of a an aggressor. I would say at, at the home, he's starting to punch my ass and shit, and, like push me, going for my 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 single leg all the time, trying to do a single leg. Cut, um, He's come out of his shell, but also it's like if he does boxing and whatever jiu jitsu for a long time, this guy's gonna fucking hurt me. I have to be careful with him. I have to make sure he knows I'm the I'm the alpha in this house. God damn it! <laughs> I don't want me fucking sixteen years old, six foot three, uh, you know, two hundred thirty pounds and shit. I don't know what to do. That's a problem. You you find he uh, gained a lot more confidence ever since he started. So since he started now, uh, I would say. There's a, ch- a small change, not a, a huge dramatic change, but there's a small change of him coming out of his shell. And uh, he still cries at times because, you know, kids, they cry, they get stuck. But he is becoming a little bit more aggressive, but in a good way. Like he's starting to yeah. fight back slowly. He's crying less, but our coach, uh, and it's cool. I see a different side of Carl, so it's cool. He actually, like, he takes my son, sits him down. Why are you crying? This and that. It's okay. So my, my son was crying last time because not because he was stuck or he got hurt. It's because he couldn't do the technique on the guy. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, we do the technique on you. He was crying for that. So it's a yeah, it's 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 hard to be a coach for kids. Too. I, I've noticed that. I've uh I tried one time. I'm not going back. Yeah. Never. Ever, I, ever. 
I I like I, I fully understand why <laughs> Carl has so much patience with us because if you can deal yeah. with the kids, you can definitely deal with. The... There's a different side of Carl, and he has a good side with kids, but also like <laughs> like when he when he trains the children, he expects like certain things because they're children. But sometimes at the adult class, <laughs> when Carl asks things like you know, guys, give some space. Six yeah. feet, you know, position yourself this way, not this way. Like, nobody listens. Or they're like, no, everyone's like lost. Like, what? <laughs> his, his face just says it all. Yeah. Like, we're just bigger children. That's all we are. Exactly. Just, uh, that's <laughs> that's the main difference. That's the main difference. We have we have no excuses. The kids have excuses. That's fun to see. Fun yeah. to see. Yes. Uh, do you plan on doing any... Anything else outside of jujitsu, or like you want to do like Muay Thai or anything? Always uh, think about it. Yeah, yeah, I'm uh, gonna I'm gonna start back Muay Thai very soon. Nice. Not to say that uh, jujitsu is probably still gonna be my main focus, but uh, love to mix in some striking here and there. I think Add in some variety, you know. Yeah, I think I'll go back to boxing a little bit just to hit the the bag again. Muay Thai scares the shit out of me because I can't. The thing is, not I'm scared. I made a deal with my wife that I can't get hurt. And I know with Muay Thai, I'm going to have a fist in the face or a kick to the nose or some shit. And then she'll be like, nope, that's it. Stop it. You have a job, a house. Yeah. You're going to be on the <laughs> no fly list from your wife. <laughs> <laughs> but honey, I want to go to the UFC. It's my chance. <laughs> <laughs> I need Fuck Muay Thai. She's gonna tell you. I need Muay Thai. <laughs> yeah. I see red. Fun. Yeah, boxing's fun. I like boxing too because it's not like, like when my son does it, there's like no sparring. So it's just you're just really getting that good exercise, that good wor- like workout. That's what I like about it. Uh would I spar? No. No, I, I would not spar. I would get punched in the face many times. Yeah. So I'll stick to my jiu jitsu. It's uh I mean it's it's all a different skill. Like I feel like um it's fun to do as an exercise, but I mean, it helps you with your coordination, helps yeah. you with everything else. I still remember. I break my face at all times. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. That That's how we met and how, that's how we started. And then yeah, man. That's, I, uh, we, boxing I brought you shit. over to the dark side. Yeah, you did, man. When I saw that shit in the back room. Like, what the fuck is this shit? What are these, what are these men just sweating? What is this? And look, it was like when you say it out loud, it sounds stupid. But like, if you're, if people, if people, you go to this like a jiu-jitsu gym, you just see them train, you'll get so intimidated. You're like, what the fuck is this? And it's intense. Yeah. So I wanted to be part of that, that culture. I wasn't yeah. ready yet because my back, but I wanted some of that. And here I am. Do you ever think about it? Like, uh, you know how we look at like new people that come in, and we're like, how long is this person gonna last? Or like. Mm-hmm are they gonna stick with it and yeah. like you, you ask that and then think about it this way we were one of those people where people probably looked at us and like we don't like oh man this is a really bad training for this guy or like yeah whatever like i don't he's know out. if he's gonna come back it's true so I'll... so take it from us like it's, it's so random though it's like anyone yeah. i don't i don't say anymore oh this guy's gonna come back he's gonna he's gonna stay it's so random. Like, and you, would, the person you don't think would stay, fucking stays. Yeah. But I just, I like it when someone stays though, and they're continuing after a couple of months. And like, uh, someone like, um, what's that young boy's name? I always forget his name. Uh, he's fifteen. Oh, we know his name. You want to say his name? We can say his name. Yeah, yes, we can say his name. Yeah, nurses. Nurses. That yeah. kid. I like that kid because he asks a lot of questions. It's normal at his age. When you're fifteen, sixteen, you ask a shitload of questions. Yeah. But I, I told him many times, like, you're 15. You're at the best part in your life. Like, you're 15 like, doing this. I'm, I started at 35. You're like, you're X amount of years ahead of me. Like, you're 20 years ahead of me. Like, you're, it's like, and he's continuing. He's getting these, whatever, he's getting beatings all the time. But uh, sometimes you can take uh, some of the newer people that walk in now. So that's cool. Uh, yeah. but yeah, I'm happy for that kid. Like I'm happy he's coming now uh, he's continuing. Cause at 15 years old, we can just like say, Oh, fuck off and leave and yeah, whatever. Yeah. But he's continuing. He's still coming. I like yeah. that shit. He's Need doing more good, of that. Man. 
He's, he's doing, doing good. good. He's he's progressing, man. He, yeah. You can you can notice a big difference, and uh, I witnessed him get his first stripe. He was the happiest kid. It was, <laughs> uh, good. It was amazing. It was like um, like it's not that big of a deal, but it shows like you 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 push through and you stayed. Yeah. Like it might not be. It might not mean oh, oh you 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 became like a really good jujitsu whatever hobbyist athlete, but it it does show that. You persevered and you stayed as long as you, you could. Yeah, and, and you're, it, you're continuing. He, he does gi too. He yeah. said stripe. Shit. So that's really good, man. So he's doing gi and no gi. Yep. Ah, uh, this kid. He's gonna. He's me good. He's me great. This Nurses, kid, if you're listening, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna be a beast too, man. Yeah, man. It'll take you Stay. many years to to beat me though. I'll probably be old and retired by then. So fuck you, nurse. I'm just joking. He's gonna be frail. He's gonna have the. Uh, Peak dad strength at forty. When nurses when nurses continue and he's in he's twenty five years old, I'm oh, fucking retiring. I'm yeah. retiring from dude. I'm not gonna roll with him. I'll be like, if I'm a black belt by then, I'll be like, okay, I'll just teach. I'm not rolling with nobody. Fuck all you guys. You, they're all gonna he's gonna remember me, like, and he's gonna kill me. So no, I'm, I'm pretty sure my son will be there too. So I'm like, I don't wanna roll with none of these on none of that smoke. Twenty years from now, you'll be what? It'd be too old. 40, 50. I'll be 58? Close to 50. 50. 58? No, I'm 38 now. Yeah, and he's 15, right? So 20 years. 10 years. 10 years? 10 years. Oh, 10 years. Oh, shit. 10 years will be 20. Oh, shit. It's 10 years. True. Sorry. My math is off tonight. 10 years. Oh, man. I'll be 48. Me? My math is off. I'll okay, be 40. Your, about... your math is completely off. <laughs> if Let's say there's some 10 years if he's now. If he's 25, then I'll you'll be... be... 48. 48. Yeah, yeah. sorry. So, that's at 20 years. That's why. I'll be 48. Like I said, I that's know. like your peak dad strength. Look at George. George. He's, yeah, I was say George. His peak dad strength. It's, it's so still good, man. He's going he's gonna to shit on me for saying that. He's like, oh, uh, why are you only talking about my strength and uh, all my techniques? Okay, George. Listen, you're, you're good. <laughs> strength is a technique, George, okay? Yeah. <laughs> He's good at uh, arm, arm triangles. That's his thing. Yeah, he is. Oh, I've, man. I've witnessed those. Yeah, I've, I've witnessed... You know what? I've witnessed less of submissions with higher belts now. I'm still getting smashed or dominated, but less. That's my motivation right there because when I'm giving them a harder round or they can't submit me the whole round or... You know, oh, at one point, oh, I took your side. What, motherfucker? That's a win. That's, That's a win. That's a win. Yeah. So I'm driving you crazy, bitch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, happy. Those, yeah, exactly. It's it's all about the small wins. It is. And again, and, I go um, I, I go back to competition. That it's it's just it's fucking increasing. It's just pushing me more to like be better at jujitsu. Oh yeah. man. Did you ever think you'd be watching your own tape and be <laughs> working on, no, on man. the things uh, you did wrong and stuff? None of that know. shit. I never no, never picture I'll look over my tape or do any, any of this shit. But now it's exciting. Like I look are. at it and I'm like, here I am. I look at it and I'm like, fuck, I could have done better. I could have done an ankle pick or some shit. But now I'll get it, <laughs> I'll get it next time. God damn it. Now you know that you can ankle pick someone. Now I can ankle That's pick it. easily. 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 Yeah. I don't, I don't have to watch fucking YouTube or anything about that shit. I know my way to do it now. LP is good at that stuff. I, yeah. See, when, when LP trains... I already know we're doing wrestling shit, and I already feel it in my knees. That's a bad thing. Yeah, uh, I love doing the the wrestling classes with LP. Every, nice every Saturday he's there. Yeah, he's, he's, he's there doing it that. more and more now. Saturdays uh, is my family time, so I know. But when yeah. he does, when he does it on like he substitutes on the whenever the week, uh, and he's there, I'm like, oh, okay, it's be something new. Let's let's do this. <laughs> yeah. So it's pretty fun. Pretty fun. Oh, it's been quite a week, Will. I'm dead. I saved three birds, three, uh, sorry, birds, three squirrels. I'm a hero. You know, the city's going crazy for me and shit. <laughs> it's our one year anniversary. Key to the city. Yeah. I one think. year anniversary, like you one said. Year, one year anniversary. We will be back again in one year from now. <laughs> hopefully I save another three, God knows what. And uh, One year from now, hopefully Marco expands and uh, we can do this, do this shit live. Live, so. my studio. You hear that, Joe Rogan? I'm just joking. We're just coming joking. for you, Joe. Come for you, Joe. <laughs> All right. 
it's Sunday. I'm exhausted. My body's shutting down. Thank you, sweetie, for our one year anniversary. It's been swell. No, I don't problem. know if I'll see you tomorrow, but I'll see you probably Wednesday then. All right. Yeah. You have yourself a good night. All right, nerds. You too, I love brother. you very, very much. Will, love you. See you later. Boy, boy. Whoosh.